everybody welcome back to our channel today we are going to be talking about why we have issues with social groups but before we start if you like what you're seeing please like share and subscribe We talk about groups a lot. I don't know if you guys, you guys we do talk about yeah. groups a lot. And um, and the reason is because we're not trying to be overly critical of them, mm -hmm. but we do criticize it. We don't be critical. Mm -hmm. We do kind of criticize it a little bit because it's just, it's not, um, it's not natural to me. Mm -hmm. well, well, like we said before, though, we said that in human nature is we run in packs like animals. Yeah. So uh, there, at some level, there is... But this this whole point this whole point came about uh, came about because I was watching an old um, talk show by um, Dick Cavett's. Mm -hmm. It was Dick Cavett show, and he had a, a woman on there. I can't remember her name, but she's an actress. And um, this was during the the women's uh, liberation movement. Mm -hmm. the, it was at its, its like its height. Right. Of the mm -hmm. And she was saying she was telling Dick Cavett's that that although she believes in some of the causes of the women's liber liber uh, liberation movement, she finds that sometimes when she gets into these groups, she doesn't quite fit in mm -hmm. because there are parts of her that likes being what they're against, like right. being a girly girl, sort of um, not being taken. She's like, I don't want to be taken serious all the time. Right. You know what I mean? And so the what I liked about her, her um, point in that was that that is exactly how I feel most times is that yeah. you can be... It's like when you are a Democrat and you're black, it's like you, you feel like you have to be a Democrat because you're black. Yeah. But I don't always agree with everything that my Democratic friends yeah. feel about Democrats. Yeah. Because I don't agree with Democrats. I think that they're mostly Republican. Yeah. But no one wants to see that. Yeah. They'd rather just stick with the old philosophy of the yeah. working class party, which Democrats are no longer that anymore so right mm -hmm. i'm sorry no, no, but, no, no, but as, as far as like she was saying about the women's liberation i agree with it when it comes to work yeah. but i don't like the way women really kind of are these days yeah. i think that we've left a lot of our femininity and it's kind of set us back yeah. more than it's pushed us forward i feel the same way about like we were saying about religion i feel the same way about even like things like sororities and fraternities and um you know calling yourself like i said like religion calling yourself catholic and baptist when you don't agree with everything yeah. in the group well, that's the then problem, you get though. Pushback. The problem, though, is to me when it when it comes to this subject is when you place yourself in a specific group. Right. The point there's different points to be in there, but the big overall point is that everybody has to be within like mind, mm -hmm. right? So that would make some sense. The thing is, is that if there's part of a Catholic, mm -hmm. if you're Catholic, there's part there's a lot of parts of you know mm -hmm. Catholicism that you don't agree with. Um, you don't speak up. Right. You know what I mean? You're not really allowed to speak up because you feel, what's the word? Like, you feel pressure. Uh, yeah, pre to, yeah. To think a certain way. So I think there's a, see, I think that sometimes it can be, um, I understand people's sense of wanting to belong. That's, that's mm -hmm. the reason why these groups happen. Everyone wants to, everybody wants to have a place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I get why people do this and I'm not necessarily upset at that, but there's a problem when it becomes, when you don't feel you can, you can veer off of their talking points right. and how you're supposed to believe, especially when you don't really believe it, believe that way. And it's not just religion. Literally, mm -hmm. like Kara was saying, like when it comes to sororities and fraternities and, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times um, the people within these groups do not uh, believe in a lot of the things within the group, but they don't speak up right. because it's the oppression of it. You can get easily oppressed by that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, um, it's one of those things, like I was saying, I think Danielle it was right at the beginning when she said that it's kind of unnatural. It is to me a little unnatural and unnatural and natural for us to be packs. Yeah, because that is us. But unnatural for us to all think and believe the, the same, same way. way. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's natural for us to want to have people around us mm -hmm. and to want to have people support us. It's not natural, yeah. though, to think that everything that you do is is going to be like everybody in your group. Yeah. And I think it makes smart people. Yeah that are normally logical and everything else, it kind of makes you dumb. Yeah. All of a sudden you dumb yourself down so you can fit into a certain, uh, cer a certain thing. Yeah. I used to say this, um, like people would always say, well, why are black people Republicans? Yeah. Well, all black people aren't the same. Yeah. All black people don't come from poverty. All black people, um, have not been oppressed by the police. Right. 
You know what I mean? They see it differently. Right. You know what I mean? And just because someone is a Republican does not mean, a black person doesn't mean that they don't see, mm -hmm. that they don't like the police. Yeah. That they don't like what the police are doing. That, that, you know what I mean? It just means that they're, they're probably their, um, their money habits, yeah. their, their economy, their economy, mm -hmm. what they, what they consider, um, financially, the mm -hmm. Republican party helps them. Yeah. You know but I don't, I don't think that I think what black people are wanting to be Democrats. So we're using it's election time, obviously. So when people black people, when they want to be when they're Democrats, they feel like a lot of them are feeling like, um, you know, it's tradition. A lot of just traditions. So they just kind of follow whatever people mm -hmm. around them or what they grew up seeing. Um, and it's it just it's it just seems like it doesn't like when you make a point to them that maybe a conservative maybe have said mm -hmm. something right they literally see the point you know but mm -hmm. they go against it because they're bound mm -hmm. to this one right. group mm -hmm. you know what i mean and they can't even have any kind of small criticism mm -hmm. you know with just their group i always think it's i just think that's problematic mm -hmm. when you're not able to call out issues within your own group right. so even if you still want to be mm -hmm. you know democrat or catholic or whatever it is Mm -hmm. When you're not able to call out things within that group and mm -hmm. still be like a right. member of that, I think that that's a problem. Like John McCain, he's, um, what's his name, John McCain? John McCain. John mm -hmm. McCain. Um, when, you know, he's known for, he's a Republican. Yes. I don't agree with Republican policies, a lot of them. Um, but he's a Republican and he was known for calling out Republicans. Mm -hmm. He called, and he wasn't liked yeah. for that. Okay. And I don't agree with a lot mm -hmm. of what Republicans right. say. I really just don't. And, same thing with Democrats. Right. I don't agree with it either one of them. Mm -hmm. They're one and the same to me, so yeah. I don't agree with it. But the fact that he was able to still remain in his group, but then call at least call out mm -hmm. inconsistencies within it is mm -hmm. right. But sometimes you talk to some people, particularly with Democrats, they're just not wanting to budge on some things, you know. Right. And I, I just think that there's a there's an oppressive. Mm -hmm. There's something about you that has to be. You have to oppress yourself in some mm -hmm. way to be part of a group. You know, my mom had put us in our put. I won't say me, put me in um, the, what's it called? The RCIA, which is to become Catholic. So mm -hmm. I was becoming Catholic. Um, I didn't want to, but mm -hmm. you know, I didn't express that either. Right. So I didn't really want to express that. So I was just doing what she was wanting me to do. But I do remember being around all of these people and I just felt like it was just everything they were saying. So contradictive. Right. Of the way that they were behaving. And I'm like, here we go. Yet mm -hmm. another group that, yeah. you know, that's like, right. Like when you talk about like, like even like with Donald Trump, for instance, it's like I don't want to discuss Donald Trump when it talks about the way he looks or his um, sort of meanness when it comes to policies, because it doesn't really matter if I like him. It just mm -hmm. matters if he does his job mm -hmm. while he's in office. It's the same thing what I do with Democrats. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I feel like every time I talk to another Democrat, when I'm, I consider myself an, a, an independent now, but um, and probably will just remain that way. Mm -hmm. But Democrats only want to talk about how much they hate Donald Trump, but they don't want to talk about, I want to talk about policies. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about what the Democrats are supposed to be doing for yeah. us. They're the working the class party. They're supposed yeah. to be giving us things like health care, and they're supposed to have a jobs program. They're supposed to be ending the wars mm -hmm. and they don't do any of that. But no one wants to talk about anything that that Joe Biden could is supposed to be doing for us. They only want to talk about how much they hate Trump. And to me, that is a very um, dangerous way to vote, because the next time when Trump, we we are we're a country where we vote people in. We don't have a hierarchy like a queen mm -hmm. where you have to be a queen mm -hmm. and that's just your birthright. We can vote you out. So to me, in another four years, we'll have someone else to vote in. Yeah. So my point in saying that is, is that if you're only going to vote for people, you're going to only vote against people and not for for things that we need. Then what's to say the next time when Donald Trump's not here, and we get another Republican, mm -hmm. that we'll just have to vote. Yeah, because he's so bad. Right. But nobody wants to talk about that. Only thing people want to talk about is how much they don't like Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And this is why I don't like being a Democrat mm -hmm. anymore. It's because it's just like you're not allowed to say that. Look at Susan Sarandon. Mm -hmm. She simply cannot say that she just doesn't like the way the Democratic Party, that her whole entire Hollywood bubble is coming against her mm -hmm. and treating her awful. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's, it, to me, it's like I could see that happening to the police department. Mm -hmm. Police officers who watch other police officers doing bad things and then don't, and do then don't say anything because they don't want to be, they don't want to mess up, the, well, you know, they don't upset the apple cart, you know? Well, and that's the problem with 
that mentality, right. that kind of that mm-hmm. group mentality. It's like I'm not saying dismantle. I don't. It's weird because I'm not saying dismantle all groups that should right. all be gone. But there's something where you you lose you lose um, your sense of thinking for yeah. yourself, and we see this. It's, it's getting worse, right? And I, I think particularly with social media groups. Right. Now we then right. started a whole nother fleet of problems with these social media groups. And again, a lot of them are positive and, you know, all of mm-hmm. that, but it's just this idea that you're, everybody's supposed to be in the mm-hmm. same like mind, yeah. one mind, no one can think outside of that. It's like, sometimes I look at some people and I'm thinking, God, you're like a, you're like a zombie. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. not, you're not thinking you know, for you're yourself. You're not really thinking you're sheep. You're not thinking for yourself. And I, sometimes I, I, I'll, I have conversations with people where they're, they're, going against their own interest mm-hmm. in the name of whatever group they're part of. Right. And it's like, but what, why can't you, I don't understand this. It's like, you, you're mm-hmm. not, you don't feel comfortable right. within because you're not able to think for yourself. Oh, I mean, but I've always been an independent thinker. Yeah. Beyond, it's beyond, that, yeah. I've always been the, uh, I've always been a strong will type of person. So mm-hmm. if I don't like something, like even like Daniel was talking about RCIA, I would actually went through it too. And I left. Yeah, because I just don't like for someone to tell me that I need to believe this or do this or whatever. I'll come back when I'm ready, and I did. I came back. Yeah. I came back when I wanted to. You the feeling I mean? of having that. Like, the reason I brought up the the RCIA, the the Catholic, mm-hmm. it's it's the right to, you know, whatever. Okay, it's it, to become Catholic. Mm-hmm. So the reason why I was bringing that up is because I I immediately realized that, that I was um, suppressed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and. Within that, I, I felt like immediately when um, I started even that first class, I felt like I didn't really have a voice just based on the way that they were teaching. Right. And it's like, well, then this can't mm-hmm. be good because I am an independent mm-hmm. thinker. I tried to, I, we know, like, y'all watch us mm-hmm. and we're, you know, what I mean? like we don't, we kind of think outside the box. Right. And I think what happens is sometimes we get criticized for it. Mm-hmm. And I'm fine with that, but it makes it uncomfortable. And that's yeah. what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to purposely make people uncomfortable, but having these conversations is important. Like, like talking about Democrat and Republican and why they are the same. Like, I know people don't want to hear that, particularly right. Democrats I and mean, Republicans too, do not want to hear that. But the truth is that they're really pretty much the same. And I feel like mm-hmm. at this point, it's like you become, like Kara saying, dumb. Because all you hear, all you see and hear and look at are people showing, you know, Donald Trump with, you know, red, mm-hmm. orange skin and making fun of his hair. I'm like, that's really irrelevant. What are you point. talking about? You know what I mean? Who we cares? had a black president for eight years yeah. who could have get, who could have fixed the criminal justice system. Didn't and he it. didn't do it for eight years. Yeah. But we, we're going to expect Donald Trump to do it. Yeah. But we didn't help hold our black president who was in charge of who, who was the reason why Libya yeah, is now a failed state in Africa and has open slave trade. No yeah. one wants to talk about that. Yeah, and that was under Obama, our black president. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so it's just like even like with um, that's uncomfortable. Right. But see, the reason why is though is that because that's uncomfortable to talk about. And yeah. so when people when people hear us criticize like what's this, um Obama, it's really like it bothers people. I think. Yeah. And I and I I know if you are someone who is. If you're someone who just will not think out of the box and you don't want any, yeah. you don't want to take any criticism so whatsoever, just because his skin is black, right? It's com- it's just like it is wrong. Like right. it's just in general, it's mm-hmm. just a wrong way to think. If someone does something wrong, we call it out. Right. If the Bush does something wrong, we've we, called, we it, called out. it out. If President Trump does something wrong, we've we called call it, it out. out. Barack Obama did some things that were wrong. We're we don't calling, call that out. Yeah, I mean, like, people don't we call, don't call that, that out in America. We just don't. And yeah. so it's just like as much as I love being black, as much as I love um, freedoms and yeah. everything of being an American, um, just because I have a black president and I'm black does mm-hmm. not mean I'm going to agree with everything he does yeah. and has said because I think that he is full of crap on yeah. a lot of things. And a lot of people will say, oh, well, he was the best president since FDR. No, he yeah. was not. Right. No, he wasn't. And, you know, most most Democrats these days are really, to me, just Republicans who like gay marriage. Yeah. They're Republican well, light. That's it. If you like gay marriage and abortion, but everything else is mostly um, right wing. Yeah. It's mostly right wing, except for those those two things. But it's like even when we're talking about gay people, like and the reason why I'm not Catholic is because I think gay people deserve rights. Right, yeah. And I don't like things being called a sin. Oh well, he likes the he likes the um the God loves the the person, but he hates the sin. That's not a sin. Yeah, I don't like I don't agree with that. Yeah, so I can't be Catholic because or, or even Christian because yeah. I don't agree with that. That's not a sin. That yeah. is how someone is born. Yeah, and you know people have died mm-hmm. because they are killed being killed because they are born yeah. that way. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're transgender, you're just a transgender, okay? Yeah. Let them have their space. Don't sit there and try to tell me that, oh, you know, it's biblically wrong. Well, that is okay, a, well, okay. I don't agree with that. Because well, I think that if God is love, he loves person. you. Yeah. And he created everything. So if he created everything, he created this person to right. be exactly like exactly. that. So when I push back on people who are religious about um, about um, gay rights, LGBT. and not only that, um, divorce, mm -hmm. Say that too. Catholic people, I think you, I think the rule is you can't get divorced, you can't get married. Yeah, they don't recognize it. They don't recognize. You, yeah. you know what I mean? And my thing is, it's like, look, if I, if you, if someone gets into a marriage and they're being abused, mm -hmm. they should be able to leave that marriage. I don't believe every marriage is made by God. Yeah, I think I some of it's made by our insecurities. Right. So I think that you should be able to get divorced and get married to someone else. But based on the institution, you can't. That no, right. It's the institution that makes people, you know, you I saw a friend the other day that, you know, literally took a picture with Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. And the day before she was all Black Lives Matter, please just stop doing this. I'm like, this woman <laughs> kept this woman yeah. in the state of California, left 15,000 men in jail. So they could do slave, slave labor, labor for the state of California. And you're taking a selfie with her. Why? Because she's an AKA and so are you. Yeah. And see how you, you become like this, a smart person becomes just dumb. Well, that's another part of it though, is that like, I'm I, I've seen so many, this is the part that's really frustrating for me is that I've seen actual smart, intelligent people. Like smart. smart. I'm not smart. I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not book smart. I didn't go to college and I didn't make the best grades in high school. I'm a front desk person. I'm she's a housekeeper. You're right. I'm not, but I'm not, I'm right. common sense. Right. And when, when I see when I see smart, intelligent people, not just book smart, like smart, intelligent mm -hmm. people do something like that. That's a good example. It was, was a Kamala Harris stuff mm -hmm. is because black people just love this woman. Oh, my God. She's a black woman out there trying to be a VP. Mm -hmm. She's going to do the black woman, black, 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 black. If y'all would pay attention to what this black woman right. has done for black people and has messed them up royally in the state of California. Right. You, it is Bath Ice Cube is from California, and they take no liking, no black people over there like her at no. all, at all. So, because they see what she's done, because she's them. also a part of an allegiance, yeah. That even if she's Kamala Harris yeah. didn't believe in it, yeah. because she's part of the government, yeah, she has to go by what they tell her to yeah. do, you know what I mean? So, you see what I mean? How, how groups well, you get caught groups, in there, you know, like yeah. the thing that I always feel like. The thing I think that happens is that what groups can do is they can take whatever, like one time I wanted to be um, vegan. I wanted to try mm -hmm. it. Daniel actually did try it. But I wanted to be vegan. I wanted to try it. So I went on mm -hmm. a group to learn more about it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I decided to go ahead and go on a, like a social group, to, you know, and all they could do during the social groups, not talk about being vegan, mm -hmm. slamming people who, who um, eat meat. Now I'm watching Jimmy Dore one day on Joe Rogan and mm -hmm. he can't, he has, he has a, a problem. He has a physical problem yeah. where he has to eat he meat. He has to eat it. So it's just like, see, I don't want to be a part of that. Because he needs a natural because, form of pro right. protein. So Because yeah. Jimmy Dore educated me yeah. on a certain illness that says that you have to yeah. eat meat. So to tell people that they're slaughtering animals and they're horrible people because they're doing that mm -hmm. is wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So one of my things I typed in, I was like, everyone says that, that plants... Plants have feelings. Mm -hmm. They can hear us when we talk to them. But you guys slaughter those and eat those as vegetarians. Right. Yeah, it's true. You know it's what I'm saying? True. So we can play this both sides. So I left the group because I thought, I don't, see, I, this is why I try to be in groups. But <laughs> the thing is, is that my mind is like, I'm always trying to remember that mm -hmm. I'm an independent human being. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I can't wait to get married. But me and my husband are not going to have the same brain. And I don't yeah. expect my husband to be exactly like me. You know what I mean? For Maybe, us to get along. In fact, I think you probably should be, yeah. you know, you should probably have some differences so that you can have some sort of dialogue yeah. or, you know, pushback. Me and Danielle have lived together forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And me and Danielle don't think the same no, all the time. Many of um, uh, debates and stuff like that. And you shouldn't think the same just no. because you, just because you're in, you're a, of like mind in some way, mm -hmm. but you should be able to, to think for yourself. Right. And I, what I'm noticing right now, and I think because it's a political season, right? Like we're in political, you know, um, that it, it always becomes so heightened to me yeah. seeing people vote against their own interests. Mm -hmm. It's like Joe Rogan was saying, Daniel was just watching, we were watching a podcast as we we're putting on our makeup and Joe Rogan was saying, you can't even be funny anymore. Yeah. Everybody's That's offended true. by everything. Yeah, everybody's offended by, everybody's it. offended by everything. Yeah. It's not even funny. It's like, it's like, right. Right. It's true. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I look, so what? Sometimes Donald Trump's funny. Yeah. 
I mean, he is just funny. I mean, I don't care if people don't like to hear that. He is just funny. And if you're going to call him racist, then let's talk about the architect of the crime bill, Joe Biden. Yeah. The reason why many black men are sitting in jail right now for smoking (laughs) weed. Yeah. 25 years later, 30 years later, is because Bill Clinton and Joe Biden. Many Democrats. And many Democrats really wanted that bill and they got it. And that's why so many black men are being locked up in prison today. Well, just in our last video, we were talking about this. Like, you should question everything. Mm-hmm. Like, when you're not able to question things, then you are really, you need to rethink right. um, what you're a part of. Right. Like, that's the only thing that I, I would never tell someone to stop, like, being Democrat or stop mm-hmm. being Republican. And they, you know, like, be willing to at least see maybe where the other side right. is coming from. But what's, what I'm seeing is that and because I'm black, I, it's heightened because right. I'm black. I notice that black people are, just don't want to focus on policy. And that's right. that's that's the most like like when um, what's his name? Um, Ice Cube. Ice Cube and L. Cool J. Mm-hmm. So these are two rappers. So Ice Cube, right? L. Cool J, yes. P. Diddy, P. Diddy. Um, Charlemagne. Yeah. When they all, all, these they black all men. came out and they all are saying like something like mm-hmm. what we're saying is. They what they have no agenda for us. There's no there's no agenda for black people with any of these with Donald Trump mm-hmm. or what you know Donald Trump's gonna do what to do to get his votes in. And, you know we know mm-hmm. how this all works, all political. But I think that when we start as black people start doing the name calling and making fun of his appearance and like that, we look so dumb. I'm mm-hmm. sorry if y'all do that. If y'all think it's funny to put up a bunch of memes of mm-hmm. President Trump, I guess some of them are funny. But all I can think is is that, but. He's the president of the United States, and we have to figure out some kind of like the policy part of it. Right. Like, how much longer we make fun of his hair? Right. Like, how how much longer is that going to happen? And, and also, don't don't be so like. This is the thing is like again, groups don't be so critical of Donald Trump that you miss something you miss he something. might do to help you. Yeah. Even with El Cuche speaking out and talking about what he wanted to talk about, he got so much pushback on that. <laughs> Not this other myself, but yeah. look, this is a successful man trying to show, show you, you how to be successful yeah. and you're tearing it down because you don't know what that looks like. It's the same thing as P. Diddy was saying. You got to ask for, uh, we got to know what it is they're, they're offering. Yeah. Ice Cube said the same thing. What is, the, what is the Democratic Party offering? But the only thing that the Democratic Party does know is that the mo- most people just want to hear, they, they just want Donald Trump out of office. Yeah. And they, 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 you know, they plugged into that feeling that yeah. everyone just hates Donald Trump. So right. They're just going with that. They don't even have a platform. They're not giving us anything. Yeah. I have someone... not, they don't have any answer to Donald Trump. So you're not getting anything from the Democratic Party. Everything yeah. Joe Biden said will stay exactly the same. He said yeah. that. And just, at least I'm not Trump. Okay. And that's just, that's, that's, that, that is, kind of thinking that is, is so scary. limited. Yeah. It's it's it kind of scares thinking. me that a, a party can be that arrogant. And say that and yeah. get votes. Yeah. And that means neither party will give you anything. And that's a scary futuristic feeling. When we talk about politics, that group, um, I don't want, I'm afraid for us to get into the habit of voting out of personality and yeah. not out of substance. It's like, you know what though. I mean? You, yeah. you, I don't like him. Yeah. But you don't really understand that you don't have to like him. And now you do is He re- works for yeah. you. So he's supposed to do what he said he was yeah. going to do. Who cares? Yeah. You know and then, like, she. Again, we just had a black president. If I cared only about his personality, mm-hmm. then he could, another, Cory Booker can win. There's mm-hmm. no way I'm voting for yeah. Cory Booker. Right. I don't care how black he is. Right. It's just not happening. Identity, pol- identity politics is working for the Democratic yeah. Party, and they're going to toll out gay people, um, white, uh, mm-hmm. gay people, liberal white people, black mm-hmm. people, Hispanic people, and they're going to do that because they know that we only vote. You know, someone said the other day that um, the reason why um, people read, the, when people read newspapers, they only read the headlines. 90% of people don't even read the articles. articles yeah. So you don't even know what you're, you, what you're most people will look at the headlines and skip the whole article. Yeah. That's where we're at. Like Danielle was saying before, it's just like, um, when you were saying about um, knowing, reading, knowing mm-hmm. things, like knowing about yeah. what you're voting for. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I say that, I say that in everything. When you, if you join a sorority, understand what you're, mm-hmm. you're pledging yourself to. Yeah. Understand what you're pledging yourself to when you go to church. There's Did you have read the Bible? How many people yeah. go to church actually read the Bible? Most people don't. They're just listening to what their grandma told them, what mm-hmm. their priest, what their pastor tells them every week. But they've never actually read the Bible. There's been a lot of um, black sorority members or ex sorority members that have come out. A lot of them have YouTube mm-hmm. um, videos where they talk about um, the oppression of the groups. I mean, it's a group. Here we go. It's a group. So it's going to be mm-hmm. somewhat oppressed because you have to think 
certain you gotta way. Think in a unison with but someone, these yeah. women are all kind of saying the same thing that it, it's a kind of contradictive because mm-hmm. it's Greek. Yeah, it's like why are black people so, pledging Greek? It's yeah, like, pledging Greek. Weird. So, uh, so when that's questioned, this is why these women come out because it's like when that's questioned, it's like, well, then there's really no answer to that. Just the answer is to shut up or leave. Right. And so most of them shut up and leave. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like it, it, I don't know. I just mm-hmm. I think that this is a it's a it's just something to be careful with, yeah. or, or at least be able to be strong enough yeah. to to call out your own group if you see something mm-hmm. that's not right, or if you hear something mm-hmm. that's not. That's not right. Now, Karen and I, obviously, we uh, don't care. So we're it's like, if, we're not part of any group. <laughs> you know I mean? So it's kind of like... I actually don't mind. It's like what you're saying. Like, I don't mind groups as long either. as I can have my point of view at the end of the day. Right. I don't mind... Um, and that I, meant my group still accept me. My, but, no, my, yeah. right. My group will still accept me. So I don't care what it is. But at the end of the day, if I see something I don't like, I'm going to say it. Yeah. And that's what keeps me from groups. Because- For instance, li- women's liberation. Okay, this is, people are, oh, you know, the new uh, wave of women's lib and all that. I'm like, no, I don't like the new wave. No. I, don't, I don't like the old wave, right. but I don't like the new wave particularly because the new wave is about being, um, you know, a raunchy and mm-hmm. over-sexualized. Yeah. That's what we have now. So they're calling like the Beyonce's and the Cardi B's and all these are like the new wave of feminism. And I'm, I'm like, I, that's... That you don't like it when men. I can't over-tune. be part of that group. You don't like it when men oversexualize you with, with Playboy bunnies and things like that. But then you go and do it yourself yeah. and just make a spectacle of yourself. Yeah, you it's know like, what I mean. No, this is not. A new I had a, like I had a friend on Facebook that talked about how much she couldn't stand Donald Trump because he was um, gross and he talked like he he was uh, disgusting. He talked rude and he was um, you know really um, derogatory to women and all these things. I'm like just last week. You were watching a Cardi B video, and you were okay with that. Yeah. And your daughter, can, your daughter can watch that. Yeah. So you don't care too much about decency. You yeah. just don't like him. Don't sit there and say you yeah. don't like you don't like indecent people. Yeah. But you're okay with this indecent woman. Yeah. Doing this for your 13 year old to see. Right. It's BS. it's BS. Okay, just you know, what I mean, you just just admit you're a sheep, yeah. and you just went along with what everybody yeah. else is saying. Don't sit there trying to make a point. When even you just, even you know, when you read posts, though, you can see that it's just uh, um, regurgitating what they've already. Yeah. People are just like um, passing on. Mm-hmm. You know, I hate Trump. I hate Biden. I hate Trump. I hate Biden. You know, it's this whole. Right. It's like it's like blah 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 blah. Yeah, they all voted the same though. Okay, right. They all voted Nancy the same Pelosi vote. has the power of the purse, which means she's right. the person that can give you the money. Yeah. To Donald Trump and everything Donald Trump has wanted, they've given him money more, for. So and the more. Democrats have gi- have financed everything, including his wall. They've given his money away. They just don't want him in there yeah. because they don't like the way he makes them yeah. all look. Right. The, the the big part of all this, like the takeaway, is that people really just want to belong somewhere. Yeah. They want to be part of something. Um. And I agree, get with that. I mean, we have music video. We want to be part of something. You know, everyone be part of something. But be part of something. But I feel like be an independent thinker. Be able to be a critical thinker. Right. You know, and so you're not um, dumbing yourself down in the name of your group, your religion, your, your, your fraternity, your, fraternity, your right. sorority. Like, like you have the, the guts mm-hmm. to think independently and not be afraid to speak mm-hmm. up when someone within your group is saying much BS. Because mm-hmm. when I was in that Catholic thing, my, we had like sponsors that help us with the classes and stuff. And um, I remember my sponsors, they're a married couple, and they, it, they, I didn't identify with them because most of the people that are in Catholic church are all white. Yeah. And I was, um, Karen and I, we were like the only black people. Mm-hmm. Kara left, but then we were, I was like the only black person pretty much there. So they didn't, some of the questions I had didn't make sense mm-hmm. to them. They weren't able to properly, you know what I mean? So when I spoke out and said, well, you know what, well, I don't, why don't you do it this way? Mm-hmm. Because it's how, you know, they didn't know how to answer that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, I don't want to be part of this damn group because I mean, come on now. Right. Where, where am I? I want to be, I'm not included in here at all anyway. Right. I'm not included. So why am I here? Right. Why am I here? But I look at these people like, oh, you know, and the answer to the questions were always, you know, this is just how the, yeah. this, the answers that my sponsors always gave me were, well, that's the Catholic way. Right. That tells me, okay, that tells mine. me Thank you. that I have to think the Catholic way mm-hmm. or don't question that. Mm-hmm. And so I thought, well, if I'm in the classes and this is happening, imagine just being Catholic, right. like was it being? And then I got baptized Catholic and I didn't, and because of my experience, I did not um, connect with the religion whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And anything, in oh, the, the emotions, you know, right it seems like right. anything that's ever changed in our, in our country that was of real significance mm-hmm. came from people who were pushback. Pushback, yeah. You know, Martin Luther King, what if he just said, oh, well, I'm a new creep, I'm a new pastor, yeah. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved with that. You know what I mean? No. As long as he thought, no, this is my country too. Yeah. 
I mean, X, the white people yeah. just at that time just said to him, you know, no, this is our country. You guys are just visitors. Yeah. You guys just do it. No, he said, no, no, that's my country too. I was born here. Right. I mean, it's people who, who are have the courage to mm-hmm. do pushback. You know what I mean? Malcolm X spoke up against the Honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad when yeah. he saw yeah. some stuff going down. Yeah. Doesn't add up. When it doesn't add doesn't up, add you got to... And that, those are the people that that will always be the heroes. Not these people who say everything mm-hmm. everybody's saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you, in another few years, Black Lives Matter will be a, com- thing, a complete thing of the past because it'll be said to death. Yeah. And people will... It won't have any validity anymore yeah. because now everything's Black Lives Matter. Right. It's the same. It happens all the time. Yeah. When you say something They're commercializing much, a very serious topic. When people want to cry and racist, racism. Oh, it's racist. Don't use it so much where it starts to take the meaning out of yeah. it. What it really there is. Racism's real. But if you use it too much and use it for everything. And there's no, yeah, like there's no, um, like you don't compartmentalize the thinking right. of it. Like you are ruining the the efforts others right. have made. The integrity of the word. Yeah. You know what and I mean? all the people who come before you that have been trying to bring up the, right. to understand the racism stuff, you're messing it all mm-hmm. up. You're messing all that work up by always, oh, everything's racist. Everything's right. racist. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of racism. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. And, but we got to be smart about the way we bring it up and how we right. fight this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't really think like, well, a lot of people won't say what me and Danielle are kind of saying because it's easier to, it's easier, believe me, it's easier to, to not say it, to, to not say to follow things, crowd, to yeah. follow crowds. Yeah. It's, it's a lot more easier on your life. Because this, this, is, this is often a hill that you stand on alone. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so mm-hmm. when we're saying stuff, when we criticize things, it's like, um, I believe that people like that are on the right side of history. Right. And it doesn't mean that you're better or anything. It just means that we're willing mm-hmm. to we we're willing to listen to the other side. Right. We're willing to listen. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear us talking like this, don't think that we're against uh religion. We're against um fraternities and sororities. We're Political against parties. I'm not against those yeah. things, but remember that if you're a part of any of those institutions, that you should have an independent voice mm-hmm. and and call out whatever institution it has to be. Just like when I was saying something something as big as a political party, something yeah. as small as being vegan right. and being in that little group. Yeah. And saying, okay, you don't know people who eat meat to yeah. talk to like that about right. people. Because no one should have to degrade other people in the name of something. Right. Alright, you guys, so that's it for today. Uh, let us know what you think about that. What are your opinions on groups are you weird about that do you care are you in one have you guys been in a position like that where you were in a group and didn't agree you had to call them out faced with having to deal with your own principles sure all right all right just leave a comment below or if you have a topic idea go ahead and email us the topic idea and we will cover that topic don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel to help us grow and we shall see you guys later this week All right. Bye, guys.